Hi everyone, it's Caroline, and I'm doing another homeschool review for Logic of English Foundations A. And this is for, I'd say, about four-year-olds. It's the first English curriculum out of four, so A, B, C, D. And it basically teaches reading, spelling, writing, um, phonetically, it's a phonetic curriculum. So you're learning the sounds. Uh, I've already done a review for Foundations A in my previous videos when I went through it with my daughter three years ago. And now I'm doing another review because I just finished it with my son. So this is the second time around. So I thought I'd give you a review to kind of tell you what I still think of it and what we improved or adapted and how it went. First of all, I'm going to say my son is very different from my daughter. Um, he is very active and constantly singing um, and just going in circles. And we started this curriculum probably when he was just turning four. And he was curious about reading, but had no knowledge really I just read to him so he didn't really know the sounds or anything so we just went in with it not knowing anything um, if you want to see a full like see the whole curriculum and you know, know what I'm talking about this is it plus a few other things you get with it um, go to my previous video I'll post a link below because I actually go through how a full lesson works um, and it's it's excellent I actually have gone through all four of the foundations levels with my daughter, and I also posted a review for her foundations, um, a re review for A, B, C, and D. So now just a thought about very active boys and, like, children who have trouble focusing even when you talk to them. So his, um, how it worked for him, this English curriculum, it was just amazing. I think the the Logic of English program, this Foundations A, gave me hope in that my son will be able to succeed in um, focusing in school in the future. Because I think the most focused times that I have with him are when we're doing English. I don't know what it is about it, honestly. It is a little bit of... Um, a mystery and magic. I don't know how if it's how they bounce between activities. So he knows that, okay, once he finishes this matching game, he's going to be playing bingo. So he's he knows that there's going to be fun things to be done. So he's completely with me and focused with me. And in the Foundations A, just to give you a nutshell, because I'm not going to explain it all over again. Look at my other video. Um, you... The kid learns all of the basic alphabet sounds, A through Z. So for A, for example, it's A, A, A. For B, it's B. C is K and S. So they learn all of them. And by the end, he could go through all the flashcards, because they also come with flashcards, and tell me all of the sounds in order. And can also spell words, three-letter words and sometimes even four-letter words. And in the end of the video, I'm going to show you him doing like a whole bunch of different activities that are in Logic of English. Because again, these are kid-tested reviews. You'll get to see them in action and see how much like fun and focus he's having. But it is really amazing. And I think um, one major thing that I don't know if I had pointed out in my previous videos was that I've noticed the way that the activities are done is to make sure that all types of learners are getting it from oh, how they learn best. So there's, um, you know, oral, you telling them the sounds or whatever it is. And then there might be um, kinet kinesthetic, you know, writing. So, for example, with phonogram slap racing activity, the kids will have a whiteboard, you'll tell them a sound, they write the letter down, and then they'll run across the room and slap the letter. So you have it orally, you're doing it. Um, you are also saying the sound back for people who need to be more vocal. 
it just hits it from all angles. Plus, you have the activity to get your brain working. It's not just workbooks, which I think is very important for this age group. They can't really sit still, but they're getting quality learning time. You know what I mean? Um, just like a, this is, this is his book. This is the workbook. So you've got the teacher's manual and the workbook. And again, I think I always say this in my videos, what makes this the best curriculum for English for in the perspective of a homeschooling mom is that um, everything is written so that you just read it. It's like a speech has been written for you. Just for example, you know, today we will, uh, can't do this here. Today we will practice our phonograms by writing them in the air. I will say a sound. Write it as large as you can in the air. If you write it, say the strokes. I don't need to know how to teach English. And it's, I don't, honestly. I think it was my worst subject in school. But I have been able to teach my daughter to completely read. And by the end of Foundations D, she can pick up any book and read it. She can decode any word, except maybe foreign language words. But reading around and stuff, she's able to read anything. She just read, probably in three days, a hundred page book, just to get in perspective. And my, if you saw previous videos I talked about, my, my daughter was very hesitant and did not like reading, did not like writing, did not like school. And we don't do this every day. Um, English is mostly going to be two times a week or one time a week. I don't do the like a full lesson every day. So um, my son would ask for me to do it every day with him just because he enjoyed it so much. Uh, my daughter did not want to do any type of school. But then by the time we got to got through A and she was able to start reading Bob books, that really helped push her, like say, give her the confidence of, oh, I get it. I know why we're learning this now. And then after B, she was able to read so many more books. And then um, after C, basically they know all their sounds, everything. D is mostly kind of practice and um, how to write a little bit more and comprehension, reading comprehension and how to organize thoughts or um, like in a text, the way, like brainstorming as well, that kind of thing. It's, it's basically that foundations D, basically more practice and just having a broader view of reading and writing in general. So back to foundations A, it's basically you're going to learn all of your beginning sounds. You'll be able to, they'll be able to read three letter words um, from the short vowel sounds, not long vowel sounds. So A won't be in there, just the short vowel sounds. So A, ah, A, ah, A. Uh. Um, they should be able to spell them, not necessarily spell them handwriting wise. You can also use game tiles and just have them like, don't let their inability to write, stop them from learning how to read. Because in the beginning, he did not know how to, um, write well. So we just got the game tiles that, um, came with foundations a, and he was using those. So I rambled on more than I wanted to, but see is there anything I forgot oh so you have two two ways of getting the workbook and I noticed just now because I ordered him uh another workbook for B you can get the digital versions now because when I was getting D and C for my daughter they didn't have the option to get the digital version it is the exact same price but I recommend getting the digital version if you have a printer like mine like the Epson what is it called I'll have to put a link below for it the best printer ever like i think i've only bought ink once every two years and i'm a homeschool mom so it is amazing anyways i i have the ability to print these out or you just go to a company and have them print out the book for you if you don't have a printer like that because sometimes your kids aren't in the mood they scribble you know, it's just, it's good to have the ability to print it out again. Or if you lose a set of words and you want to, you know, there's something you need to cut out and you lost them and you want to use it for the next, then you can print it. I think it's worth it. So I'm really happy they brought it back. Anyways, without further ado, I'm going to let you see um, a variety of activities. My son taking, um, doing them from the Logic of English curriculum. 
I didn't come up with any of these. They're just part of the activities. There's much more, but these are some that he really enjoyed, and I just was able to take videos of them. So I hope you enjoyed this review, and see you next time. That's off. Very good. Erk E. Good job. Z E B R A. Zebra. Zebra. Very good. Okay, next. What's this? This is an ick. When you put them together, they make kick. Ick. Okay, but say the sounds now. What are the three sounds? Ah. Ah. A. Ah. Very good. Next. What's this? Qua. Very good. Next. Z. Hold on, this is upside down. Okay, what's this? Bo. X. Z. Mm. Okay, I'm done. What's this? G. 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 J. G. 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 Very good. Ready to find it? Alright, three, two, one, good the job. Good job. Just wrote it. Oh, I did. Mm, yes, and wind. The. All right, let's see if you're right. Wind. Go ahead, sound it out as you write it. Wind. And now help me to write it. W, E, N, D. And let's read it. What I think it might. Good job. D. Wind. Yeah, that's what you do with raisins. Mm -hmm. Let's sound this one out. Alright, eat your raisins. Now, ready? Our word is stomp. Okay, ready? Let's read it. Did we get it right? 
Good job. I'm going to do that soon too. All right, read it. M-a-d. Map. M-a-d. Map. Mad. Okay, mad. now show me. What, how do you look when you're mad? Um. Is that a mad face? Ah, sad. Now, how do you act it out? Pretend you're sad. Pretend I pick your your pie. It's the kid. Mm hmm. On bus. Oh, kids on bus. Where's the bus? Good job. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Next page. All right. You can say you.